Meanwhile, we have live team coverage tonight of all the local races and measures on the Kern County ballot. 23 ABC's Lesla Gooden is going to start us off live with uh, how the voting process is going from Veterans Hall downtown. Lesla. Yes, yeah, Super Tuesday is in full swing and there are over 100 voting locations here in Kern County. And we did speak with voters today who tell me there were some problems, but overall it was pretty smooth. Good here. Tell us everything's working well. They knew what they were doing. I had to ask for a special ballot and they had it ready for me. And not all voters had that same feeling at their polling locations. Me, I felt robbed. I mean, here they I mean, make it really hard for me to vote. I wanted to get my vote heard just like everybody else. Kevin Blanton and his family have been voting at the North Minister Presbyterian Church for several years and treat Super Tuesday as a family tradition. But today, that tradition was interrupted by an unexpected polling issue. So I went to two different tables. They said, nope, my name was not on the list anywhere. And then one of them asked me if I had gotten one of the new IDs with the bear on it. And I said, yeah. He said, if you did not check the bottom of, of the little square at the bottom, he goes, they automatically took you off the voting list and sent you a mail-in. The problem is I never got a mail in. Blanton says he and his daughter Monica says it took an additional 20 minutes to fill out the necessary forms in order to cast their ballots. Others may not wait around to do the same. You know, I was just your normal person who just got turned away and I wasn't the determined person I am to vote. Then maybe I wouldn't have voted today and it's so important to vote. 23 ABC contacted Kevin McCarthy's campaign office regarding this issue, and they said, quote, Congressman McCarthy's campaign and assembly member Fong's office has received calls from voters expressing issues trying to vote. I was very concerned about it for, for voters and stuff, so I called uh, Senator, uh, Congressman McCarthy's uh, office. They said that the California DMV uh, from what they told me, had accidentally taken them, I guess they have um, voluntarily took over 600 voters off the list. And just a few miles down the road at Canyon Hills, a voter informed me that a ballot box was not fully fastened and it was quickly addressed and the voter felt satisfied by the polling station's response. 23 ABC reached out to the elections office and they released this statement. We were notified of a ballot box that was not fully locked this morning. The polling site supervisor immediately locked the ballot box without ever opening it. There have been at least two poll workers monitoring the ballot box since the first vote was cast, and at no time was the ballot box left alone. This incident was rectified quickly, and in no way did it compromise the integrity of the election. Despite the incident, voters overall tell 23 ABC their voting experience was smooth and orderly. It was pretty smooth here, and uh, it's pretty easy to just come over here and vote. It only takes a few minutes. In California, officials are asking you to give them a call if you have any issues at your polling locations or if you feel like your rights have been violated, and here are the numbers you can call. The two numbers for the Secretary of State's office is for English, one 345 vote and for Spanish, it's dial 800-345-VOTA. You can see a full list, vote text, excuse me, and you can see a full list of your rights as a voter on the state's website at sos.ca.gov. And we asked county officials about the voting turnout for today, and they said they won't have those numbers quiet yet until the counting starts. For now, I'm Bakersfield, Leslie Gooden, 23BC News, connecting you.